Introducing first in the corner to my left, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Ashley Dimplois! Her opponent to my right, from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., the Afro-Punk Twitch Adora! Chris Adora, another competitor whose trajectory is, it has just been skyrocketing. Her career is on such an incredible path, like Willie Nightingale, someone who received a ticket to gold for the ROH Women's Division Tournament this summer. It's something that you said even here at WWR Plus has been undefeated. And how about this for a meteoric rise? The Hall of Famer Booker T started a podcast about the independence. Who was his first guest? Chris Adora. I mean, you want to talk about being on everybody's radar. To have a WWE Hall of Famer calling you yes. for an interview. Yes. Well, here we go. Huge, huge opportunity, though, for Damboise. And we cannot, we cannot make light of that at all because she has been someone who also has had her own sort of meteoric rise in regards to the fact that she is still very, very new to our sport. She has not spent a lot of time in the ring having her professional wrestling debut on AEW Dark. So you want to talk about also being on everyone's radar, but now she has to put that all together with victories. And to get one over Trisha Dora would send her to the moon. Talk about the WWE Dark, w, or, uh, excuse me, to talk about the AEW Dark and elevation matches that Ashley Dumboise has had at this point in her career, it's it's absolutely incredible to have that kind of worldwide eyes on you this early in your career. There's certainly a degree of pressure that has to come with that as well. As these two both struggling for the upper hand in the early going on the mat, and everyone here at the White Eagle just sort of taking it all in, respecting the craft that both of these women are able to put forth in the wrestling ring, I mean, it is very impressive. Incredibly impressive, and, and, and even the background of Ashley Dumbois, something that people don't often recognize is the skill and discipline, and even the brutality that goes into the art. Oh! Rolls cover. up! There is a uh, certain amount of brutality that goes into the art of dance, and that is somewhere where Ashley Dumbois got her start. Something yeah. that instilled a lot of discipline in her and uh, I think really affects her, her behavior and her strategy inside the squared circle. And to come into professional wrestling with a dance background is more advantageous than people probably think. I mean, you hear about a lot of football players, a lot of amateur wrestlers coming into the sport and having an easier transition. But for her, it's all about footwork in there. And to be able to have good footwork and be able to adapt quickly Ashley has shown why she has done so well so soon. A uh, literal and figurative leg up on some competition for Ashley Dunbar. Like Absolutely. That. Trisha Dora, Stein, so, excuse me, standing side headlock, easy for me to say, as Dunbar's go behind, holding on to that wrist, trying to lock it up from behind. We still have a huge main event at Davey Ann and Megan Bain, but talk about a semi-main event that could have easily main evented. And that is some of the athleticism, the, the dance background coming into play for Ashley Dunbar. Just imagine the amount of body awareness that you need to have as a dancer and then throw it into the ring. It's it's absolutely incredible. Oh, but right back to the side headlock from Trisha Dora, even as Ashley Dambois was putting on that impressive display, including the cartwheel, Trisha Dora was still resisting it. But Damboise unable to resist that shoulder block. Up and over goes Adora. Leapfrog there from Damboise. Off the rope she goes. Look at the way she was able to lock up her body and take her over. Wrenching in on the shoulder, but Trisha Dora so wisely locking her hands behind her head. Unrelenting against Ashley Damboise. Oh. Coming to her feet, Trisha Dora getting her hand on the face of Ashley Damboise. And there's the foot on the face to follow it up. Trisha Dora showing why she's had that meteoric rise in our sport. 
Oh, almost there. Two count from Adora on Dembois. And that's such a thing, the composure of Trisha Dora, no matter what, she really just... She has this... This aura about her. Watching her work is watching poetry in motion. And just so unruffled. I don't know if this is from years as, a, as an Army veteran or... Oh, cover! Shoulder up there. But Trisha Dora has... I think one of the coolest heads in the game that'll prevail through it all. Trisha Dora. We've seen her recently defeating Davian and then Willow Nightingale before that. And another reminder, August 1st, the life of debuts here on IWTV with Trisha Dora. So you can get a little more insight into who she is. But the only person she's trying to be right now is a winner. Trying to make it 3-0 at WWR Plus. Hooks the legs. Two count. And Dan Boss showing that toughness in addition to her athleticism here in this semi-main event as Adora blocks it. Makes another pinfall attempt. Almost. You can see Ashley Dunbois really just dribbling her way out of that just barely. Trisha Dora being relentless as she usually is by continuing the offensive assault here on Dan Boss going after that shoulder, that elbow, the entire arm all together. Dan Boss getting a block in there, fires back up. Jawbreaker. Oh, and Trisha Torres, done, but no. Still with a full head of steam is Trisha Dora, after even being laid out by clothesline after clothesline. And you can see Dan Boss holding onto that left shoulder. So essentially coming in here with one arm at best. Gets the double underhook, able to gather enough strength to execute the suplex and back up to her feet. Gonna try that, Uranage. Shadora fighting her way out and now with Ashley Dumbois on her shoulders. Turns her around. Oh, no, 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 Trisha Dora blocks. She's gonna go for that bulldog, gets caught and slammed down hard by Adora. Shoulder up from Dan Can you imagine what it means for the career of Ashley Dunbois to pick up a victory against Trisha Dora tonight? It would be absolutely monumental to her career, especially considering all of the things that we have talked about with Trisha Dora achieving and instead of an insecurity being to the back of the head, that caught the chin. And Trisha Dora has been really on top dominating this match, but Ashley just keeps coming back. Trisha Dora, probably the most ruffled and slightly exasperated that I think I've ever really seen. Without question. Reversal. Charges in. Nobody home, shoulder hits that second turnbuckle. And she, yeah, she saw that shoulder and she kicked it very hard and again going after it, hitting the elbow that time. So she wants that entire side of her body to be disengaged. But still, Ashley Dumbois kicks out. Still kicking out. Got her. You're an Aki. Oh. She Wait, caught it. This could be it. Ashley, with the win. No. Oh. Shoulder up by Trisha Dora. That's Ashley Dambois. Looking to get a big time comeback. Crucifix. Oh. Into the roll up. No. Imagine to everyone watching at home, to all of the viewers here in Worcester. No cover to end it. No, almost. Could you imagine everyone here witnessing an end to to Trish Adora's streak. The streak could be over, rolls her up. Oh, and it looks like no. Ashley Dambois had a, a little bit of tights on that. We may have. Whatever it takes to pick up a win. Backslide coming up. Oh, look at that. Extra oh, momentum. Oh my God. She got her. Unbelievable athleticism for the win. <laughs> Trish 
Adora folded up Ashley Dumbois. What an incredible win. I'm not sure I've ever seen any variation like that before, but that was incredibly impressive. And that's what she needed to do to pick up this victory here because Dan Bloss was really, really giving her a lot to deal with. Against Trisha Doran. Someone whose name is on everyone's lips. You gotta imagine Ashley's name is gonna be in that picture as well.